video today of showing how I do my maker's mark etch on the knives. So this is the unit that I have here. It is an AC-DC uh, etcher, has variable control up to 12 um, volts and 6 amps. And I have everything set up here so we can just get moving along. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have the knife prepped already. Uh, I have everything taped off. I have my maker's mark on there. The blade has been cleaned with acetone of any fingerprints. Positive is going to go on the blade. This is the negative with the electrode. It's just a homemade one that I have here. I'm going to take off a little bit of the excess. And I'm going to make sure my leads are in. I'm going to flip this on AC. And we're going to start in. I'm going to do quick bursts. And I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but you can he hear a little bit of that sizzle. That's how you know it's working. And I do have it again on AC for mark, which is going to leave a permanent black mark. Okay, it's not that DC deep etch. Um, after experimenting with a couple different things, um, I settled on the uh, mark versus the deep etch actually let your stencil last a lot longer i've used this one probably about for 50 marks already and still going strong so after a few more passes here and swipes we'll uh, peel all this off and let you see what it looks like and what i'll do as soon as i stop this is actually Put some uh, Windex on there. You can use uh, this specially formulated stuff if you want. All right, I think we should be good here. So I'm gonna flip this off, disconnect everything, and let's take a look and hopefully we have a good mark. Okay, there's the first look at it. Let me give it a quick shot. Windex to neutralize here. You can see I'm rubbing it. That is on there. It's not going to come off. Okay. Hopefully that's picking up good on the camera. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave me a message. It's that simple. It takes a few minutes. i got a few more to do. Thanks.